So the other day, I go to the bookstore and I get these books, right? My children like to read and I got this book for my, I got a book for my son, I got a book for my daughter and um, it's kind of like comic books, if you want to say. And um, the storyline and everything seem innocent. We've read some things before, you know, it's just about school and kids going to school and all this stuff, you know, just little stuff within their age group. I know because I always read the plot and all of that. And then, of course, my daughter, she likes to share things and read out loud with me to me. And I read this. So this book, I look at the back and it seems OK, innocent. Well, my daughter comes up to me and she is asking me some questions about the content that's in the book. And I'm like, uh, what? Where'd you hear this word? She's like, it's in the book. I go and I read the book and I realize this book has stuff about um, same sex relationships or interest. Okay, guys, let me explain this. I don't want to hear anybody, oh, you're discriminating. That's not what I'm doing. But my whole thing, guys, is as a parent, I have a right to decide what I want to introduce my child to. Now, the world is as it is. My children are aware that there are people who want to be called a boy he that identifies as a girl they're girls that identify as boys they're boys that identify as girls and so they feel like they can go into the girls locker room ironically enough women that's identifying as boys are not going women who feel like they are boys they're not going into the male locker rooms but whatever okay there's pronouns or all these things uh no people can no longer say a woman is this or that there's a lot going on in the world and i do let them know it's going on i don't want to keep them hidden in the dark and then suddenly they're like oh what's going on what's this okay at the end of it all one of the things that i do instill within them is no matter what the world says your conviction and what you believe okay is what you believe just as anyone out there who wants to say i'm a girl today change your mind tomorrow decide you want to be a boy tomorrow change your whole body change your mind whatever by we if we want to believe that a man is a man as a woman is a woman and we choose to stick to the lessons and the biology classes that we were told growing up that is our prerogative I am not here to try to change anybody's mind on anything to include what I believe the word of God says. That is my right. That is what I believe. That is anybody else's right to believe what they want to believe on who they are as individuals. I'm not here to change anyone's mind, but I do have a problem with a book that is a comic book. Okay. And is seems very innocent. And then they don't tell you on the back of the book that on the inside of the book, there's all this drama going on and some girl likes a guy and she's going after the guy, but then the, everybody, the, there's a bunch of, you know, guys who are go both ways or like just boys. It, no. All right. So parents. And you know what's funny? I truly believe that the reason why this is not there, because this is a big part. This was a big part of the plot. So I think it's it was deliberately inserted in the book because maybe sales will be different. Maybe parents will skip it. So they make it seem innocent. But then when your child gets in there and start to read it, there's something completely opposite okay ironically this was a scholastic book and you know if you know anything about scholastic these are normally the books that sold in schools and to me a trusted source they've always produced good books 
innocent books and they do have books that's just about everyday life and challenges and cool so i was very shocked to see this very shocked so i feel like they need to be up front put a tag on it whatever put what's in the what what is in the content of the book and if the parent says okay this is what i want it's no problem then that's fine if the parent wants to get the book and say okay look this is you know what we believe but look, this is what's in the book whatever the parent decides it's up to them but don't slip stuff in listen this is something that's going on a lot that's one of the reasons why I scan things. And you know something? My son, he's very, he's big on that. He's big on that with his sister. He didn't do that with this book because the last book that we read had nothing like that in there. So he would get the book and be like, oh, let me check it. And he's scanning through it. All right. And he says, okay, this is all right. And I do like that about him. And I like that they come up to me and be like, what's this? Okay. Which is rare. But the thing that bothers me and that irritates me is people are taking this, people are taking and authors are slipping in these little things and they may say, well, why should we have to say anything? This is natural. Because I'm telling y'all that if someone wrote a book and was putting it in there that being gay is abnormal, and putting in an idea that gays are weird or someone who's homosexual is weird or putting in something about it that putting a twist on it, you guys would be ticked off. Anybody would. Taking the whole uh, sexual orientation off the table, any person, regardless of their orientation, straight or not, if there's something in a book that says, okay, let's not even put it, just something in the book that says being gay is morally wrong and there's something wrong. If there was a twist on it, there you all would be upset about it. And you will say there would be an uproar and why, why this does not fall into what you believe and what you think is morally and ethically right because you have your own idea about it. But guess what? Even if the writer put that in there, you have a right to know that's in there. Because then your child may get that book and come to you and say, well, mom, dad, I'm reading this. And they're saying that uh, being straight is the way to go and being gay is not the right way. Regardless of our differences, the, 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 despite our difference in moral beliefs, you wouldn't want that in there. Because you believe differently, okay? So you would now say, why wasn't I aware that this was in the book that say being a homosexual or being bisexual is morally wrong? This is not what we believe. It is the same thing for other parents who are not into that. You don't have a right to slip that in there. The parent has a right to say, listen, I don't want to buy a book that goes against what me and my partner believe. We have the right to know that this content is in the book so that we don't get this because we believe in same-sex relationships. The same way a parent can say, listen, we don't believe in same-sex relationships. This is not something I want my child to be reading about of these feelings of trying to, to be with this person or whatever and all these different things. This is not something I want to introduce my child to. If my child decides that they want to go with same sex later on down the line, whether I agree with it or not, this is still not something I want them to believe in. Or no, I do not believe in this based on my religious beliefs. Or this is just not something I believe in. I believe in heterosexual relationships. So therefore, yes, you may believe that, but I have a right to know what's in this book so I can decide if it's what I want my child to read or not. Do you understand? So whether you are same sex or heterosexual, it does not negate from the fact that content in a book must be upfront. Parents must know and it's not slipped in. And then there is this, um, this indignation if parents are saying, hey, what's this? 
because I already gave the scenario. If it was the other way around and there's a book that's preaching against same sex relationships or doing scenarios where it's against same sex relationships, you did not know you will be upset about it. Hopefully not because someone has freedom of speech or expression, but the fact that that content was that main, which is a main meat and potato of a storyline was not placed on the back of the book. So you can decide whether to concur or non concur. So parents, it's just important that you pay attention. Things, even in cartoons, even in TV shows, you have to take the time to just sit because sometimes parents just sit their children in front of the television And it seems innocent enough, but I noticed that a lot of times there are different things that's slipped in there and you miss it. Um, I know that there was this one show, this cartoon that was on some cartoon network and there was like something just slipped in there. And I remember just seeing my children that were younger at the time, as young as they were, they looked at each other, they looked very confused and they looked at me. And then we got it off. At that point, they were too young for me to really explain anything. But later on, as things are constantly being kind of in your face, there are things that I have to explain to them. And one of the things I tell them is you stand on your moral beliefs and compass. You don't hate anybody. Just because someone chooses to, to identify as this and that, I don't want you to hate them. I don't want you to think anything bad about anyone of that nature. But you believe what you believe. You don't have to bow down to anyone's uh, trying to force you to think this way or to believe this way. But this is the world that we're in right now. There's going to be books on things. There's going to be TV shows on this. But a child have the right to know what's what. Parents especially have the right to know what is in a book, what contents are. You don't slip it in. And then we find out about it after it's been purchased. And after now, that, that seed has been planted. All right, guys. Thanks for listening.